This is so weird being back in front of the camera. I'm sorry. I was gone for a month, like relaxed, you know what I mean? Hi, I'm back from my little like vacation period. I've been gone for about a month. Can I give you a reason? Sort of. I think kind of the reasoning behind why I stopped for a while was just because the pressure of putting up a video every single week that I wanted to be good kind of got to me a little bit. 750 subscribers and I'm like, oh, this pressure is so much. Like think about if this goes bigger, I'm literally gonna like, I don't know, have a midlife crisis mental breakdown kind of phase. Yeah, I took a little like break sort of just before Christmas, I think think it was and I kind of think the reasoning behind it is because I was trying to do like the vlogmas for December and everything and I think I was just putting too much pressure on myself to come up with good videos like every single week I wanted to put out a video every single week and it was difficult because you obviously can't do anything right now and I can only do so much sitting in my house following guidelines all of that without it turning really boring and really uneventful and stuff like that. In the summer it was fine, you know, I could go out at least for like walks and stuff like that and I could go out and boat and everything, but like, if you could see the day it is outside, it is just mist. I can't see far down the road right now. So, you know, it's difficult kind of having to sit in your house and think of things to do and stuff like that. But I'm coming back because I think it was weird being away from YouTube because I'm so used to like since April I've been putting up one video well I did two videos a week at the start but one video a week and I think I kind of just lost motivation because it's difficult to continue to like do this and everything like that when you're not seeing big results but at the same time I was getting some results I got a brand one or not a brand a company sent me free products that's huge for me already like that's massive for me you know I hit 750 subscribers my TikTok was growing and everything so like sorry I learned how to edit on two different editing softwares and I've never really done video editing before ever <laughs> I learned how to work a camera I bought a fucking ring light I reached 12.5 thousand followers on TikTok I reached 750 subscribers on YouTube I learned all about YouTube's algorithm I learned about everything I learned so much from doing it and I think I kind of need to give myself a little pat on the back because I don't think I took a step back often enough and be like, you know what, I'm making progress, I've done a lot. I think I was only focusing on views and subscribers and followers and likes and everything like that but I don't think that I was taking into account how much it was actually helping like the rest of my life. I felt like motivated and stuff like that and I think being away from it for a month the motivation went out the window. I was like, mm, no, I have nothing to do here. So from now on, I'm not going to be putting so much pressure on myself to have a video every single week. I'm just going to do it when I know I have a good YouTube video idea. And I'm really going to put more effort into having a good YouTube video idea and giving myself time to think of good ideas instead of just, you know, shoveling the out like shit, same shit, same week different week, same shit, different week. One thing I will kind of start doing from now on is not like change the way I act on camera, but like, I don't know, I think I kind of act in like a bit of a PG kind of way that I'm like afraid to like say certain things or do certain things or talk about certain subjects and stuff like that because I'm like, oh, what if there's kids watching my videos? If there's kids watching my videos, that's great, but I'm not your parents. If a kid's watching my videos and I say something like out of order or, you know, not very child friendly, that's not my fault. Kids aren't really my, like, target audience. My target audience is really my age, so I think, like, I'm gonna be a bit more, like, laxy lazy about, like, you know, if I say, like, shit or something like that. Anyway, you'll see from now on. Anyway, I think another thing that kind of, like, lost me a bit of motivation was I saw this thing on Instagram, I think, or something like that, and it was like, when you do this, or you want to do a job like this in Ireland, people will be nice about it, but people won't be supportive. Now, I don't agree with that completely, but to an extent, it's all well and good being like, oh, like, you know, I've no, like, I don't know. It's all well and good being nice about me doing this or something like that or someone else doing this. I don't know why in Ireland it's so weird to, like, go out of the comfort zone of job opportunities. And it's so weird to, like, want to do something like this or put up, like, a certain thing on Instagram or, like, make a TikTok account and want to do it and put effort into doing it or make a YouTube channel. I don't understand why it's such a big deal. But people just aren't used to it in Ireland and that's fine, but like, I don't know, if your friend is doing YouTube or something like that, being nice about it is great, but be supportive of it as well, like help them. Put their video on your Instagram story, you know, like their video, comment on their video, something, it doesn't really matter, just 
help them out. It really does go a long way. I don't know, I feel like people kind of hold back on that because they're like, oh, I don't want people to know, like, I'm supporting, like, my friend's YouTube channel, like, that's a bit cringy. Who cares? Like, just do it. Do you know what I mean? If they're really your friend and you really want to help them out, help them out. But yeah, I really hope everyone's happy to see me back. I'm very, very happy to be back. It's nice to be sitting in front of the camera and having people listen to what I have to say. If you did like this video and you're happy to see me back, please don't forget to leave a like down below. Whew, it's been a hot month since I said that. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications and leave a comment saying hi if you if you're happy to see me back and yeah if you want to share this to your story being like oh he's back that's that'd be great as well anyway guys really really happy to be back really really happy to be sitting in front of the camera again and i'll see you soon bye